Welcome to a podcast about running BPMX trial software for model-based testing with test plan creation in HP ALM. I'm Volker Rautenberg from Transway AG, the manufacturer of BPMX software. While the trial's tutorial document covers each and every detail of your BPMX trial version, this podcast takes the short route and provides you with the essentials to quickly run BPMX model-based testing. After you've downloaded the BPMX trial setup and the accompanying materials, you're ready to install the BPMX software on your machine. Before you start the installation, it is strongly recommended to make a backup of your computer. Double-click the setup file. It is of type application. Then run the installation by pushing the Run button. Read the general terms and conditions and agree to them if possible. Now hit the Install button. You can see the installation progress. And finally click the Close button. Now you are ready to start BPMX Converter Workstation. First it will ask you for a graphical user interface language. We pick English here. Then you will be asked to select your BPMX configuration. Click Next. Select Unpack a new BPMX configuration file and click Next. Now please select the configuration file. It is among your downloads and named BPMX trial mbt sparkca.bpx. Push Next. As it is an archive file, it needs to be unpacked into a configuration folder. Simply leave the suggested default location as is, hit Next, and click Finish. The configuration settings have been saved successfully. The next step is to request a license. Click the button Request New License. Fill in your data and press the Send Email button. Automatically an email is generated. You just need to send it. We will create your individual license and email it to you as soon as possible. In the meanwhile, we care for the Enterprise Architect side of things. Among your downloads, there is an Enterprise Architect repository file named BPMX Trial MBT Sparks EA EAP. We open that file and have a look at the source diagram. It is depicting a BPMN 2.0 based purchase requisition process model. There is one start event and two end events, and in between we see four decision elements. Even though the process itself is not highly complex, it is very suitable for demonstrating model-based testing. An important feature of the Enterprise Architect diagram are the notes and attributes of an element. They add value for testing. For each relevant business activity, we have a description in terms of a note. In addition, there is a set of attributes. Simply select Menu Element, Attributes, or press the F9 key for a selected element, and see the information regarding example data, execution hints, and the expected result. Attributes for Enterprise Architect elements may be extended as required. The essential point is that they carry important information for testing. We shall soon see how all these data are reused in test cases. Once you have received your BPMX license file, copy it to a convenient location, for instance to the desktop. Start BPMX Converter Workstation again presents the License Manager dialog. Simply push the Select License File button and select your license file. You should then see the message License Successfully Installed. Click the Continue button. Now you are ready for model-based testing. In BPMX Converter Workstation, select the conversion chain Enterprise Architect BPMN to HP ALM. Select the Enterprise Architect repository file you have downloaded. Select the coverage for model-based testing. Statement coverage C0 is fine. Provide the details regarding your HP ALM system, the server's IP address, its port, and your credentials. And finally, specify your HP ALM domain, project, and the test folder you wish to put your test plans into. Now click Convert. The test cases will be computed and transferred to HP ALM. In HP ALM, go to the Testing sidebar and select Test Plan. For the selected coverage, the model-based testing algorithm has generated two test plans. The shape data regarding the description and expected result are properly displayed. 
please note that due to the defaults in HPLM, the other shape data are not available out of the box. But this could easily be managed by a trivial customization in HPALM. If you like to see the Enterprise Architect process diagram in HPALM, you need to run another conversion chain, Enterprise Architect BPMN to XPDL. Select your Enterprise Architect repository file. Provide a convenient output folder for the resulting XPDL file, which represents the Enterprise Architect diagram. Then click Convert to generate the XPDL output. And please wait until the result has been generated. In HPALM, go to the Requirements sidebar and select Business Models. Create or select an appropriate folder. Then hit the Import button, select the generated XPDL file and let HPLM import it. And finally you see the business process diagram. This has been a quick introduction to your BPMX trial version. You will find more details in your tutorial document. I'm Volker Rautenberg from Transbar AG. Thank you very much for your interest in BPMX software and have a successful trial.